Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea or pop culture, girl, I got you. Or if you just want a new messy best friend, I got you too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are again in my living room. I love my, my, my thingy. Um, you guys really loved being out here so i think maybe some days i'll be here some days i'll be in my normal light setup we'll just see you know we're at home here we're messy you and i are besties let's just go with it right let's just have fun. it doesn't have to be such a big deal okay listen talking about messy okay bitch grab a snack and a drink because we got to talk about mr james gordon okay because girl he is he is being called out for being extremely nasty to servers in a restaurant. So um, he not only is being called out, but girl, he got banned from this restaurant. Okay, bitch. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to read to you guys the, the um, statement from the owner of the restaurant. All right, bitch, because let me tell you something. Okay, look, let me just tell you a little bit about James Corden. You know how sometimes when, when you're overly nice and you try and be overly, yeah, like you try and be overly nice. Those are the people that sometimes I get a little scared of, to be very honest. You know, when you don't show, like those people, like girl, like Ellen, like Ellen, bitch. You know what I mean? Like the ones who try so hard to be so nice, so relatable, so amazing. Those are the worst. And I know a lot of influencers like that, bitch. Okay. The ones who are like, oh my God, I'm so relatable. And then girl, they're the meanest meanest vile people you would ever meet trust me some of your favorites are not very nice but anyways let's move forward so listen girl okay so it says here um james gordon has been banned from a new york city restaurant after owner keith mcnally accused him of being extremely nasty to his staff on multiple occasions this is what the owner of the restaurant posted and said James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian, but a tiny cret cretin of a man and the most abusive customer to my Baltazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. I don't often 86 a customer to today. I 86 Gordon. It did not make me laugh. Here are two examples of the funny man's treatment on my staff. He behaviored similar, similarly in my former restaurant, Cafe Luxembourg, a few years ago. So these are the notes from manager. This is manager's report. Okay, the first one. And it says, <clears throat> in June, James Corden was here on table 61. Although this is diabolical, it happens very occasionally in all restaurants. After eating his main course, Corden showed the hair to Baltazar manager G, who was very apologetic. Corden was extremely nasty to G and said, get us an, oh, I'll do his, get us another round of drinks this second. And also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way I write any nasty reviews in Yelp or anything like that. Listen, I've been told that my English accent is amazing. I was English for the most part of my childhood because I was obsessed with the Spice Girls. And I think one of my biggest desires and biggest fantasies is to think that I know how to do an English accent, but I know I don't. But with this story, bitch, I'm gonna. Okay, so that was manager's report number one. Now, manager's report number two goes as follow and says, James Corden was at Baltazar with his wife on October 9th for brunch. He asked for a table outside. Brunch matri D. Ali Walters took the pay party to table 301. Mr. Corden's wife ordered an egg yolk omelet with Gruyere cheese and salad. Uh, a few minutes after they received the food, James called their server MK and told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed with egg yolk. MK informed the floor manager, G, the kitchen remade the dish, but unfortunately sent it with home fries instead of salad. That's when James Corden became, began yelling like crazy to the server. Girl, if my server mistakens my salad for fries, I'd go fucking give him a blowjob. Okay, bitch? Because that's just like, that's fate. 
that's fate. You're trying to be healthy, but then, you know, fate has uh, other plans for you, and then you have salad. Okay, girl? No, bitch. That's fucking fate. And that is what dreams are made of. Because, bitch, you ordered a salad, you got some fries. All right? Anyways, so um, James uh, uh, starts screaming, you can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelet myself. MK was very apologetic and brought G over to the table. He returned the dish and after that, everything was fine. He gave them promo champagne glasses to smooth things out. G said that Corden was pleasant to him, but nasty to the server. MK was very shaken, but professionally that she is, continued to finish her shift. And regarding to celebrities, I've seen it with my own eyes how some celebrities are so incredibly entitled, not only celebrities, but, um, but influencers, you know what I mean? Influencers are so incredibly entitled because they believe they are the new celebrity. You know what I mean? I've seen, I've seen with my eyes influencers not only not only being rude to staff, but you know, to people working, to 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 fans. And I don't understand one thing, you guys, and that's where has humility gone? You know what I mean? Like where on earth is humility? Humility, I find to be one of the most sexiest traits in a man. I do. I, I truly do. A man who will treat every single person the right way and, and with respect, for me, that's number one. I swear to you, okay? Along with, you know, a good dick. But you know what I mean, bitch. Um, I just, I don't understand at what point it became cool to treat people like shit, especially in the serving world. I'm going to tell you guys a very quick story. Um, but when I was a server um, in, in, in Denmark, um, I just remember that it was like literally my one of my first days. And I worked in this restaurant where they had like an outside patio and, you know, also inside. And I just remember that it was icy because it had recently snowed. And, you know, people over there, you know, they're so used to the cold. They sat outside and had cigarettes and had some drinks and stuff. So the, that table, um, that it was my table outside, they had ordered um, a bunch of hot chocolates. And um, I, you know, I was wearing my uniform, the shoes they gave me. No, my shoes, sorry. I was wearing my uniform, my shoes. And I got the, 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 you know, the, the, what is it? Oh my God. What is the thing called? The, not the plate, the tray. I got the tray, you know, and here, let me do it with one of my coasters. Aren't they so cute? I bet you, you can't, how much do you think these were? Well, well, cause it's a little broken girl. This was $2, $2 at Ross girl. Don't sleep on Ross bitch. Anyways. So I was with, you know, my, the, the, the tray and I was coming outside and I remember it was slippery outside. So I was coming outside and I was walking da, 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 da. and then I literally slipped. And unfortunately the hot chocolate fell on a lady's white fur coat. Okay. I was mortified. She started yelling like there was no tomorrow. Okay. For a second, I thought she was going to hit me, right? She said, call your fucking manager like that. And I was like, shit. And it was literally like my second day. And I was like, it is what it is. Like, I, I, it was an accident, whatever. So I honestly, like, imagined every scenery, 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 scenario, except the one that actually happened, which was when I spilled it, I went to the manager, I came out and she started yelling at the manager like there was no tomorrow because he did not make sure that his staff had the correct shoes and that I could have gotten really hurt. Her whole fur, white fur coat was covered in chocolate and she cared more about me than she cared about her coat. And honestly, I was so surprised because you don't see that very often, you know what I mean? And, um, of course the restaurant paid for her coat. I was in the clear because, you know, the manager and like, I guess like the bosses, they, you know, they, they realized, you know, that it was, it was messed up. Um, they sent her coat to, you know, this like bougie dry cleaning. I don't know. And, um, and she actually told me because I was shaking. I was literally shaking because I was like, I'm going to bring out the manager and he's going to yell at, they're going to all yell at me. It was a table of like six people. 
And uh, when I came out, they were literally all attacking my boss. And actually, she told my boss that I deserved a, a like a 30 minute break, like a break. And she told me to sit with them. And like we I ended up telling them my life story. They ended up giving me like, you know, a couple of drinks, like non-alcoholic because I was working. Um, but it was just like so nice. So there is, of course, nice people, but there are some people that are just incredibly nasty. And I'm so glad that James Corden got um, banned. And I hope that it continues with influencers and with celebrities or just random people like Karens who think that they are so entitled to everything. So um, I actually really like this story. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like the fact that the waiters got treated bad, but I like the fact that it doesn't matter who you are, how much power you have, you need to respect everyone. So anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.